Have you ever wondered why competitors put their stores next to each other? For example, like this? When I was seven or eight years old, my mother used to drive through a street called Bellavista in Santiago, Chile, where you can find a lot of stores that sell lapis lazuli, which is a very particular gemstone. Funny enough, it's not very easy to find other stores anywhere else in the city. So I asked my mother, why does this happen? And even though I don't remember her answer, this was a very mysterious situation for me as a child. Here is one section of the street where we can see three competitors all together. So on this video I will use simulations using any logic and artificial intelligence using PathMind in order to analyze this issue. But let's start with the most typical example that is used in game theory where you have two entrepreneurs selling ice cream at the beach. In this case, if the two entrepreneurs collaborate with each other and they make the most out of it for the customers, they will place themselves at certain positions in the beach in which they get 50% of all the clients and the clients travel the least amount of time to get their ice cream. The problem with this is that there's always an incentive for one of them to move towards the center to get more clients than the other one. But in this case, then the other entrepreneur will have the same incentive to move towards the center. So both will end up having 50% of the customers, but the customers will need to walk a little bit more to get their ice cream. This is what you call a Nash equilibrium, in which there is no incentive for any of the agents involved to do any action in order to improve their situation. So this is the environment we will work with for our simulation. You have a bunch of homes spread around the city and you have a few businesses also, which are the ones in red. These businesses are also spread around the city randomly, in the beginning of the simulation at least. Also, each home has a number of customers inside. So a family can be three customers, for example. Now, what we want to do is to generate some artificial intelligence in the business so they go to a place in the city that maximizes their sales. That's our objective. Every business has a neural network or a brain and we will train that brain to make the right decisions in order for the business to maximize their sales. To do that, we will use reinforcement learning. And I won't go too much into reinforcement learning, but the way it, it works is that you have an environment, in this case the city, and for each action the agent, which is the business, makes, it gets a reward. For this example, the states will be the position of the houses, the number of customers in each house, the position of other businesses, and the position of our business. The reward will be the number of sales the business makes and the actions can be to move right, left, up, down or in diagonal or do nothing. Okay, enough with this theory and now it's time to use simulations and try different scenarios to see what happens in a real situation. So let's run our first test. We have two fixed businesses and one of them is going to move using artificial intelligence because I already trained the business to do something smart and it will go to the position where it increases the sales the most. We see that it doesn't cluster with the other ones, the other ones are fixed, so it can freely find the perfect position for its own interests. Now let's try a new way in which two of them will be um, using artificial intelligence and one will be in a fixed position and you already see that the ones with artificial intelligence will cluster so the best thing the businesses can do to increase their sales is to cluster together even when one of them is fixed now what happens if all the businesses are using artificial intelligence they will all end up clustering together. 
that's the way all of them increase their individual sales. It doesn't matter where they start, they will cluster no matter what. And they will use the best position based on how distributed the houses are and how many people are in the houses. But what happens if you have 10 businesses and they're all using artificial intelligence? Will they cluster all together? Will they form two clusters? What can you guess? Let's see what they do. They end up being in a cluster anyways. The cluster is a little bit bigger, but they tend to be in the same area. Let's try a different scenario. And you see that they cluster anyways. It seems that it's always convenient for the businesses to cluster together because that's the way they increase their individual sales. This is in fact the Nash equilibrium of the system. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.